again, the Cub is the fastest selling model of the Savage line. And the various iterations, the iCub and now the Bobber, with its ability to customize every piece, has really kept the factory busy. The Bobber is, has at least 60 modifications that you can make. If you want wrinkle finish, if you want chrome plating, if you want leather, if you want special leather engraved, or if you want a chrome engine mount, you can do that. Kind of like a, a custom motorcycle where you exactly. can keep adding bits to it and make it just yours. And the name Bobber came from that as a, a motorcycle that you would get from the factory and then you would bob off the things that were factory and that's factory. where the name comes from. Yes. Well, why don't we go have a little closer look at it? All right, let's go. Well, now we're right next to the airplane that you can see right through. In fact, I don't even see any doors on this airplane, but then why would you want doors since the whole airplane's open anyway, I guess? Oh, the doors are sitting on the ground over there. We need <laughs> doors for the winter, but this is an outside airplane. It, it's, uh, it's really designed to be your own customized thing, complete with saddle leather and, and movable seats and chrome plating. Any kind of customization that you want to do, the factory wants to provide. Yeah, chrome sticks, chrome uh, main linkage controls, even chrome... Um, uh, turnbuckles, chrome pedals up front, chrome joysticks, uh, engine chrome on the engine. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is like a motorcycle owner's dream. And I love the leather work in this. Boy, this feels like really high quality, thick, durable leather. Back here we've got, uh, what, saddlebags? Uh, bags and a back roll. Uh, a back roll. place for your back roll. Okay. And, you know, you told me something interesting about this. I'm looking at this airplane with no fuselage cover on it. You said in flying it, it still feels like flying a cup, including things like slipping, where you yeah. normally think you'd need all this side area, but not the case, huh? Well, to make a slip, you have to turn the airplane sideways, and typically the side wall of the airplane creates that drag, but it turns out that there are, there's enough drag with the air going through that many little pieces of structure that the slip is still effective. <laughs> Now you say some people buy these things, in fact I think this very one which has a sold sign on the side of it, uh, somebody bought just because he loved the way it looked, he's not even a pilot he's or something. He's not a pilot yet, he's going to take it back to Hungary and do his training there and with his own airplane. And in a way there's some safety to that, he doesn't have to relearn anything he learns from ground on how his airplane works. So he's going to have one of these and learn how to fly it. Yes, it, each standard airplane comes with a complete set of controls, front and back throttles, controls, the rudders, pedals, everything is available in the brakes uh, to either pilot. Um, these airplanes are relatively economical too, aren't they? Now we don't want to get into specific prices because these videos last a long time, but give us a rough range of what we're into here with this airplane. Our prices last a long time too, don't worry about it. Okay. But, but basically about 60,000 US will put you into one of the airplanes and the customization will add to each one. Sure, just like it does on that motorcycle. Well, you put enough stuff on it, you can practically double the price of some of those. I imagine you probably couldn't have done this, but so the point is, even with all the fancy stuff they're probably still well under a hundred thousand US right yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's pretty remarkable again it depends on the options the engines can and the propellers can run the cost up but the, the basic airplane is available for in the 60,000 and again we're talking about a complete not a kit airplane it's here ready to fly uh, and I, I love that the finish on this one you don't often see a dull finish on airplanes I always like to have it be real shiny but clearly this is part of the overall customization exactly some of the modern automobiles that are coming out uh, are having a very dull finish it's an end thing but it also this reflects some of the military look of the, the Cubs history so it's a factory that is based in Italy with production facilities in the Czech Republic okay and Glenn Arrow is their official name they have not uh, produced anything except the light sport aircraft okay so this is their focus today is the uh, the iCub, the Savage, and this uh, in, in the European theater, they're still calling it Savage. Are you selling them as Savage in the United We're States? We're selling them as Zlin Aero, but the Savage name is a part of the official FAA registration. It's easier to refer to them by the model of Cub, iCub, Classy, Cruiser, Bobber. I see, okay, okay. The Savage new airplane, overall. the uh, Cub S, which is a very powerful 180 horsepower model of this. Oh, is that right? I didn't even know about that. What engine is powering that? Uh, it's called a Lycoming. I'm not sure if anybody is familiar with it. <laughs> also, I didn't know you're getting Lycoming in here now. Well, a whole diversity of uh, various kinds of Cubble-like airplanes. I think that's a term you've kind of coined yeah. for this. 
uh, but I'm kind of looking down here in front of me and I'm seeing some great big fat tires on it and looking at this airplane with all of its sort of customized look and the tough leather and whatnot, this looks like a bush capable airplane. Yes, Dan, we use Alaskan bush wheels all the way up to 30, 31 inches. Wow. We're an Alaskan bush wheel dealer, so we're able to install those in the U.S. The airplane does have good capabilities for landing, not necessarily on uh, large boulders, but it, it will take you off the road in places that don't have a fixed runway. And also floats you've got available, right? Floats are available. We have them in stock, and we're ready to put them on your airplane. Well, speaking of in stock, Bill, uh, with the great price point, with the versatility of the different models, with the customization that you could do on this, which I assume you'd, for the bobber, you'd probably wait for an order because yes. you're not going to stock something that's all customized. But what's the wait time to get, let's say, a standard iCub and get yes. us in the ballpark that way? Standard iCub is uh, however long it takes you to get to our facility. We've got one in stock, but the bobber does take longer. Each of these is custom built and custom made to your specifications and your finishes. So four months would be the maximum. If okay. we have it in stock, it'll be available the next day. I'm safe. Great. Well, lots of information about these Lynn Aero line of all kinds of couple-like airplanes, including this very cool open cockpit leather chromed out Saddleback. bobber model. It's just very cool to look at here. Um, where can we get even more information about this line of airplanes that you represent there in Arkansas? You can see us at our website, www.icub.aero, A-E-R-O, icub.aero. I've got information on the iCub line and the rest of the airplanes that Bill represents out of Sport Air USA. You can find all that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Arrow.